Morning, the Washington, D.C. Office of Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, representing the 14th Congressional District of New York. If you are a constituent of New York's 14th Congressional District, please press 1. If you are calling to discuss casework or to open a case, please press 2. If you are calling from another congressional office, please press 3. If you are calling from an outside organization, please press 4. To schedule a tour of the Capitol or have a flag flown over the Capitol, please visit our website at ocasio-cortez.house.com. Thank you for calling the Washington, D.C. Office of Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, representing the 14th Congressional District of New York. People understand that our campaign and, and my candidacy has a very specific point of view, but also in part, actually largely in part, because I do not take any corporate lobbyist money, they know that I'm working for them. They know that they can call my office and pick up the phone and say, hey, you know, this is something that we disagree with and that I have an obligation to listen to my community. Work or to open me. Thank you for calling the Washington, D.C. Office of Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, representing the 14th. Thank you for calling the Washington, D.C. Office of Thank you for calling the Washington, D.C. Office of Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, representing the 14th Congressional and District of In New no York. part thanks to the fact that we pay a living wage in our office. We don't pay any less than $52,000 a year, which means... Yeah. Um, which means, so far, two of my staffers have been able to quit their second jobs in restaurants and be fully present at work. We're actually talking about something substantive. We're not calling anyone names. People say Tea Party of the Left, and I find this phrase very interesting, this phrasing very interesting, because the grounding of the Tea Party was xenophobia, the underpinnings of white supremacy. Um, <laughs> yeah, stop with the name calling, you racist white supremacist xenophobe. <laughs> through service. And so my whole side of it is like, it may not be optics it may not be great optics it may not like look the best and in terms of your opponents could use it as a political it's put as a political issue with my republican colleagues they say things and i'm like what does that have to do with what we're talking about <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you've been faulted for not having all your facts right mm -hmm. what do you tell them well you know when you actually look at the individual instances a lot of times it's, you know, we speak all the time. And whenever I have a, a slip of a figure and someone points it out, I'm totally fine correcting, say sorry, not 10 years, 12 years, etc. But I don't think that um, there's been an instance where I haven't either corrected, and I think there's an instance where I've doubled down in the way, for example, this president does. But, but some people think you're not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> you, you well, want, they can keep you, thinking that. <laughs>